Hi. Okay, so I recorded this video once already, and I recorded it in like three separate parts, so I don't even know how to make it work with that going on. So, just gonna re-record it real quick for y'all. There we go. Okay, thrift haul. Today, I went to uh, Goodwill, and I had a 20% off coupon. The color of the day was 40% off. Uh, blue tags. Uh, I delved into my legit sourcing today because I was like, you know what? Let's just give it a whirl. I spent so much money, so I hope I do okay. Um, I got 98 items, I think, for 350 something. It averaged out to about three dollars and fifty ish cents per item so I'm hoping to make minimally that back and uh let's get started so um altered state jeans didn't even know they made them very cool though little flare bottom they're really soft and stretchy so I thought that was cool. Hopefully they have a good comps on Poshmark. David Bitton, Bitton, Buffalo Jeans 31. It's a skinny, uh, like a medium wash. Hopefully those will do well. Um, one pair of shoes, brand new, never worn Kenzie brand. And these were, well, they were 20% off, so it cost me $8. Um, Hoping to do decent with these. They, I, I looked them up and they were originally $80. Uh, they are the Brayan, B R A Y A N style, size seven. Very clean, obviously. Brand new, little Oxford. So hopefully somebody will want those. Um, I took a gamble on this. It was one of the blue tags. If I'm going to take a gamble, I like for it to be the cheapest possible gamble. So. Whatever, uh, matchstick, jeans. I thought um, they're a light, like an acid wash kind of color print. So, which I haven't, I feel you haven't seen in a while. And all like the kids, Instagram kids and the YouTube kids, they're into the whole like vintage -y look right now, which I should have kept all my clothes from the 90s. But anyway, so I grabbed those. This is a pair of AG, um, Adriana Goldschmied, and it's called the Prima Mid-Rise Cigarette. So a dark, skinny jean, size, I think, 26, 25. Tiny little things. Uh, I, ha I did look up that, um, and that seems to be pretty active right now on Poshmark, so that's good news. Page jeans, size 25, just a... They are Burdugo crop. Burdugo. Burdugo. Um, a dark, skinny crop. So hopefully they'll do well. Um, this is a little BDG roll sleeve um, t shirt dress with, it's like blue and tan, a little mix patchwork thing. Thought that was cute. Size small. I will give that. A shot. Excuse my hiccups. I've been having issues today with that. Staccato is a brand I had to look up. And sure enough, that appears to have be heavy. Um, have been in uh, Stitch Fix. And so that stuff seems to do pretty well. It's just a little roll tab sleeve with a waterfall cardigan. Um, gray and white stripe so this is labeled as an extra small but definitely could fit a small as well uh, so that that was cute made well um, I've heard rumors that made well is not doing quite as well uh, right now but this is an extra small little t-shirt it has this little confetti kind of but they're like little nubbies they're they're not like paint it's they're raised it's it's definitely um, like thread fabric. So I thought that was pretty cool, like an oatmeal colored. This is a J. Jill sweater. It's a waterfall cardigan again. Um, but with this, the little waterfall has this little kind of rainbow print. Rainbow print is also on the sleeve, like a lightweight. I'm thinking for spraying somebody will, will 
snap this up, hopefully, so small. My mom has the flu, I guess, and she's been <laughs> texting me. Um, this is a little Chico's, uh, like a caftan type of thing. A little swim cover-up. Uh, Y'all think that maybe it's too early for that. However, the whole resort season thing where rich people get to go on vacations and stuff um, are wearing swimwear nowadays. Not in the cooler vortex. This is a large, extra large. So I thought this was cute to get a couple bucks for this. This is a Chico's new with tags. Size shoe, little three quarter sleeve, um, high low top. This is a soft and sexy from American Eagle with this little uh, cross hatch in the front, which I thought was cute. Um, it's like a tie dye ribbed wall number there. LuLaRoe, okay, so today, today I delved into LuLaRoe for selling. Uh, I think that it's kind of saturated right now, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, I figured, hopefully, so for me to make my money back minimally, just make my money back on all of these items, I'd have to average $3.50 per item which on Poshmark if it's under ten dollars the item um they take an automatic like two ninety seven or something I just consider it three dollars so um to make three dollars and fifty cents on Poshmark you have to sell something for six dollars and fifty cents so I am hoping minimally things will sell for six dollars and fifty cents um, also for the Lutero situation, um, Uptown Cheapskate is taking it right now. And I average about $3 an item with them. So if I had to, and I'm like desperate to just get my money back, I could do that probably. But I'm hoping that these will do a little bit better. This is an extra, extra small Carly dress. Um, it's just a little high-low like t-shirt dress that they have just in a, a plain gray, which I think is great. Um, a lot of their colors are just like super wacky and not into them but I bought some stuff I thought I could hopefully sell so I'm excited this is a universal thread goods company little tie front uh gray and white stripe little top with the pocket so if this doesn't sell I'll keep this is cute it's an extra large but that's like a junior's extra large which is a small in anything else um this is a chico's zero uh this i picked up because animal print is still in this year uh it's just a little kind of trapeze uh top this is something interesting i did not know was not aware at all that lularo made button downs they do apparently what short sleeve button down lularo Size medium has little, well, I just see it. Oh, little thing on the corner. I didn't even know. I don't even know what this is called. I've never seen it before. So, hope that that does well. This is my adventure into men's, um, the whole Caribbean Joe thing, but Tommy Bahama. I gave it a shot. It's a large, it's like such a dad shirt going to golf but again uh tags from dry cleaners so these people uh take care of their stuff they pay to get it dry clean so give it a shot this is a bb top i wouldn't have picked up bb um because again i feel like it's a brand that that kind of hangs around maybe a little bit and um but the embellishments make the difference on those items where i'm not sure whether i want to kind of take the gamble or not and so uh i thought this had a quite a little bit of cute embellishments that are different not for me but for someone else i thought they were cool so it's just a um three well it's a long sleeve i guess button down well it's actually snaps it has pockets, a little v-neck. Um, the detailing for the tabs are pretty cool. 
Uh, also, it has this BB logo. It's just going to stay blurry. That's fine. And um, it's a size large. And then zipper down the back. And slight pilo hem. So I thought it had all the right elements to be a decent um, sellable item online. Um, <clears throat> these are AG jeans. Andrian Adriana Goldschmied. This is the Angel. These look like an older style. Um, but I, they were blue, so I thought I'd take a, ga a gamble on them. They're like a 25, 26. Um, but they are like a little bit of a flare, which, you know, it's coming back now. But these are a little bit older style. So hopefully somebody will want to pick those up. These are Sanctuary denim uh in the charmer they're like a salmon a size 29 however i realized and this is what happens so here's the other thing so when people take the tag off of the the waistband the little tag they never cut the 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 threads like that is not part of the jean cut the threads off but anyway, I noticed upon inspecting it at home, it has a little, a little super distressed. That's what I'll just, I'll call them vintage, super distressed. I don't think that it changes the wearability of them at all. I don't think if you're wearing them that anyone would notice. Um, so I'll just disclose it. It is what it is. This is, you know, this is what happens when you're thrifting, you're kind of just quickly going through stuff and I somebody told me to check all the pockets like they find money Woo, not me though but anyway so we'll see whatever you take you win some you lose some this is a j crew artist a uh, long sleeve tee I don't pick up j crew anymore really except for myself I just it do doesn't sell um but this is one of those 40 percent off items uh this is a large classic tee New with tags, Lularo. Um, I thought the print was decent. I actually picked this up initially because I thought maybe my mother would like it. She hasn't gotten back to me on that though. Lularo, another item, a little bit wacky, but the whole patriotic thing. Everybody loves America. It's another. Um, this is like the super nice, like the original, like Lularo texture for something like so soft but it's an, like an extra small but it's huge like yeah you easily fit a medium in there uh brandy melville this is a retro looking top on the instagram kids are into that right now um so this was a good find excited about that um here's two lularo they're like the little dusters I, maybe they're called joys i want to say could be wrong Oh, kind of like a rust orange. It's got these little nubbins on it. Um, so I thought this was cool. Hopefully somebody will want that. Another one, same kind of um, style. The, the knitting is a little bit different on this one. And this is like an, a mustard yellow. I hate it. It's disgusting. I don't, I'm a summer because I can only wear, like, I definitely cannot wear, like, yellows. And it totally washes me out. Uh, so, not for me, but the Instagrammers love them some mustard. This is another one. Size 14. I, I'm confused because I think it might be a kid's one. Right? This is not 14 adults. Help. Because what's it when it's the number 14? Help. So anyway, I'll figure it out one way or the other. But I didn't think the print was hideous. The colors are really what didn't bother me about it, um, honestly. So we'll see. Uh, this is a Torrid item. I thought it was really cute. It's a sheer top. And then the back has little cutouts. The back is open and has little... buttons I don't know. 
Anyway, size two for Torrid. Super cute. LuLaRoe, another, I think, classic tea. I don't know about that. This is a smaller version, so maybe it's a different cut. Simply comfortable. Oh, I guess that's like the, like, like what their brand is called. I don't know. I work with a lady that, that like is obsessed with LuLaRoe. I think she actually used to like sell it. Um, extra small. So gray and black, very, like, that's what I find about the LuLaRoe. You cannot find any normal stuff. This I had to look up, but I was suspicious. Under stars. Under skies. I'm sorry. Um, like an Anthro brand. Good find. Little, um, short sleeve sweatshirt thing with the world sleeves and little Aztec, um, embroidery around the bottom. So I, mean, I hope that does decent. This is a let's give it a shot for me. I'm probably going to throw this in the washer, I guess. Anyway, miss me. Okay, that's like a cult following. Everybody like loves them there. Miss me. I have no interest in the brand. However, I think it does well online. This has like little metal or I guess they're metal. Little grommet dudes. And some embroidery and some draping. And so hopefully that'll do well. This is a Michael Stars. One size fits. I see how they changed it now to most. Come on. So the one size fits all fits most, which is also still a lie. Look at how small this thing is. Give me a break. Like, it would probably fit me, maybe. Like, I might look at a top end of a medium. But anyway, I picked this up because I don't think Michael Starr does all that well necessarily online still. But uh, with the tie-dye, tie-dye is supposed to be, like, back, back. This was new at tags. Adidas, like, a jacket. It's, like, a windbreaker on the outside. It's, like, slippery. And then it's fleecy on the inside. So, cute little jacket, new with tags. Can't beat that. Size medium. Somebody got it for Christmas. Didn't want it. Marie Kondo'd it. It has um, zipper pockets. So, hopefully somebody will pick that up. This is another um, LuLaRoe item. It is purple. It says inspire. Another new with tags. Medium. These, do I show you these? I don't think so. A uh, page, page, jeans, so it's 27, skyline ankle peg, a little skinny, green, cool. This is, this is when I knew, when I saw this, I was like, I have made it to the big leagues of reselling soft surroundings, okay? Everybody loves them, some soft surroundings on the Poshmark. I do not have any. Uh, of these items. <laughs> oh my gosh. Myself, but... They seem to do really well, and everybody that wears them loves them. This has a little, it's like a little cap sleeve tee, but then it also has this little lacy detail. A little high-low hem. Um, so I hope somebody will grab that. This is another new with tags item from LuLaRoe. It is their Cassie skirt, which I like, actually. It's a size medium, which is shockingly too big for me. I, I wear, like, the small and the Cassie. Um... But should do decent. Um, I thought the the print wasn't terrible. It's gray and yellow, so I think somebody can make that work. Um, but with tags, I was like, eh, let's go for it. This is a Fabletics little running top or workout top, whatever you want to call it. It has little like a muscle tee, um, like a teal color, size small. They kind of have a, a cult following a bit. So hopefully that'll do well. This is Crown and Ivy. This is the kind of like low budget, like simply Southern 
slash Lily Pulitzer. I picked this up because of the details on it. Um, I don't know that the, the cuts aren't like huge. It's not like I'm going to make 40 bucks on this top, but, um, I don't think it's been washed because these little tassel dudes that are along the bottom and the sleeves, they get like, if you've washed items with these things, you know, they get destroyed. So they look in perfect condition. So I hope you want this is a medium, a petite medium, but definitely a medium could fit. This also is a crown and ivy item, size medium. It's a little button down. Come on. There we go. That has pineapples. Thought it was super cute. Again, give it a shot. See what happens. Um, maybe the same person will bundle those two. So again, if it's something I'm not sure of, stuff with little details, uh, I feel like we'll push it over the edge to something that's sellable as opposed to not as sellable. If you have other tips, please let me know. This is a splendid item, so small, a little kind of open knit, like sheer-ish, um, black and white stripe, two pockets, and it actually does have tab sleeves, so they can be long or tabbed up, so I thought that that was good. This brand I looked at, but I was like, I felt like, I felt like it was something, Escapada, um, <clears throat> and I was right, it's like a resort wear type of thing, this is like a little caftan um, little slits up the side and little, uh, bell sleeves. Hopefully somebody will pick this up. It's an extra small. It's very soft, um, for their cruise that they get to go on during resort time of the year. This is another soft surroundings item. I love it. It is an ombre top with tabbed sleeves. There's like a lot of detailing uh, in the embroidery size medium. I hope this will do well. I'm very excited about this one. It was a great find. Uh, here is a Skyzar Blue. So Skyzar Blue is, uh, I think it's on the anthropology list as well as I know Stitch Fix does it as well. Um, so I, I've been like until they're terrible with the comps, I will keep picking it up. Uh, this is just a little boho dress with a with a tie front. Um, there you go. It gives a little more shape. Um, so, a long sleeve doodad. I thought this was cute. Hopefully, some of y'all want that. And this is a Manto item. Manto is just a it's a little boutique brand. Uh, this is a little cardigan that has these little doodads and then the bell sleeve with a little crochet um, in the middle. I did notice a couple pulls. Like here, there's a pull. So what I'll do is I just, you pull it back through from the, the back part of the sleeve. So anyway, I thought that that was cute. That's a medium, juniors. Um <clears throat> alternative so this is an item I saw a couple of things from it is I had to look it up after I saw this one and this is the only item I picked up from there uh, just to see how it does it seems like it'll be decent it's just a, like a little taupe t-shirt um, this is a lucky brand item uh, it is an extra large and it's distressed and has all this uh, embroidery so hopefully that will do well uh, this is LuLaRoe size extra small another that classic tee look but I thought the print was okay there is this this brand I just found out about recently because I purchased an item from this brand uh, from a Poshmark seller actually and it is uh it's called LA Made it is actually a family run business in LA their stuff is pretty pricey um and I thought this was cute it has a little kind of roll like folded whatever a little interesting top here um for a tank purple so we'll see this is a LuLaRoe uh, medium I don't think that I've seen long sleeves in LuLaRoe I don't know it probably exists and I just don't even know about it I didn't think the print was terrible 
Um, but I was definitely intrigued by the long sleeve. So hopefully somebody will give that a home. And this item is a Nike dry fit running top. Just a pink. Now, again, with these items, I've uh, the way that I really determine whether or not I'm willing to pick up this stuff, because again, this is stuff that can be hit or miss. Um, you might have to sell it for like $5. And so, but I look at the, the applique that's like the, the rubbery or plasticky kind and see if it is cracked. If it's cracked, that means it's been worn a lot. It's been washed a lot. If it's not cracked at all, like if there's no cracks like here, it, I don't, somebody probably didn't even wear this really, uh, let alone washed it maybe. So anyway, this is really how I determine these items that, you know, <sighs> I feel like you can pick them up at TJ Maxx for like 10 bucks. Why are you going to buy them from me from 10 bucks? But, um, so that's really my barometer on especially athletic stuff like that. Um, or anything that has that little, uh, the applique on it. Um, uh, Pico is a brand that I had to look up. Um, this is just like an oversized, um, I don't know, I guess like brownish taupe top, um, We'll see. The brand seemed decent um, or price-wise, so we'll see. This I picked up. I swear I got something else that was... Maybe I decided not to get it. Anyway, this is a brand I had to look up. Cha Cha Vente. Uh, but looks to be decent. Uh, it's a little cold shoulder item, but it has these little ties. It's got the, it's the velour or velvet that everybody loves right now. All the Instagrammers are bringing the 90s back. Um, but I felt the color was really nice. It's a neutral. You can wear it with anything. It's like a tan, silvery color. So hopefully someone will give that a home. This is another item that I kind of gambled on Lacoste. I don't know. I've seen kind of all over the map for Poshmark it has the little alligator, um, just the polo light pink. Uh, this is a 42, but this is like a tiny little shirt. So maybe an extra small. I picked up another one as well, but I looked, I always inspect the armpit area items like this, uh, especially when you su suspect that they might be, um, can't sit on the floor anymore more than like 20 minutes without it hurting because I'm old. But anyway, uh, something that you think is maybe vintagey, especially, I always check the, um, underarm, see what their condition is. This item I had, I looked up the brand cause I had never heard of it. M T W T F S S weekday. Uh, I looked it up. It's an interestingly, like, expensive brand. It's just a, okay, so it's a tank, but what got me was it's, like, split on the side, and it has, like, ruching, but the the tie to, like, pull up the ruching is, like, a separate item, so you can, like, pull it through from, like, as much or as little as you want for the side slide here. So... <laughs> I don't know. I'll give it a shot. Um, I thought it was cute enough that like, well, I'll give it a whirl if it doesn't go well. Um, but again, the little details and stuff that I'm not sure about is really what, what sends me over the edge, whether I really want to look into it or not. Coral Bay. This is a little linen, uh, top size large. Thank you. Um, Coral Bay is, um, like a, Crown and Ivy kind of vineyard vines, Lily Pulitzer vibey. So we get those here quite a bit. Um, but that one looks brand new. Um, this is from another brand that I had to look up. But again, I felt like the uh, the tag was well enough made that I was like, you know what? I need to look into this. It's probably something. Shipley Helmus, and turns out it is. It's a very pricey brand, um, like in the hundreds for some things. Um, but this is just a little racer back. Okay, so racer, racer, like a like you're in a race. This, okay, not razor, like you're like gonna 
shaped legs, okay? So that is one of my pet peeves and it annoys me to no end to see stuff listed as a razor back. So my dog is now making a nice bed <laughs> in my purchases, okay? This is an athletic top. Again, the cracking issue, none really that I see. Um, just a little, like, probably like a clima light, like a wicking fabric. I was a little ruching on the sides. Hopefully this will do well. Um, I'm totally going to disrupt you, dude. Yeah, I love you. Okay, this is a good find. Altered state. Altered state. It's a low budget. Um, just a little poncho thing. Uh, low budget free people, dude. I'm like, I love you, babe. All right, Unique Glow, I'm not a brand that I've sold before, but I know of it. Uh, it's like a metallic y gray color, just a top that I'd give it a shot. Um, We the Free, so free people, um, just a gray top. Uh, this is a kimchi blue. This is a an Urban Outfitters brand, I believe. Kimchi blue, I think, or is it Anthro? I don't, I don't know. I get them mixed up. I'll figure it out. A uh, little sheath dress, um, little blue, size so small. Hopefully, somebody will want that. Splendid, in button down with tab sleeves, just a orange, really soft. Three Dots. I'll keep this if it doesn't sell. Um, I've come to enjoy the Three Dots brand. Um, and hopefully it'll do well. This is new with tags. And <laughs> originally I just saw this. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, however, it is Skies Are Blue, uh, which is a good brand. It is anthropology as well as... Stitch fix, so it's a little cross, not uh, drapey, whatever, button down, if you want to call it. The pink nickel. I don't even know what that is. You know what? That's the name of the boutique that it came from. That's what that is. Okay, I gotcha, because it says thepinknickel.com. But anyway, it does have the skies are blue tag with an extra button or snap, whatever it is. Okay, stop. Stop. She's like licking everything. Okay. <laughs> Premise. This is a pricey brand also. Just like a long sleeve. Um, kind of mid-weight tee. Very nice. Um, paper crane. Not, stop. Will you just lay down, please? Lay down. Lay down. Now, these are mine. Not yours. They're mine. This, uh... Oh, curve time top uh, has cranes I'm guessing uh, this should be a decent brand as well uh, not something I usually pick up but it was in really good condition I don't think it's really been abused too much life is good a little golfer lady um, so I thought I'd give that a shot this is a J Jill top a tunic like half sleeve just a black mid-weight guy this is a splendid item as well. Another roll tab, long sleeve tee. This is Trina Turk. Small little sheath dress. Um, stretchy, lightweight, great for somebody for the office. Um, again, leopard print, um, animal print. It's supposed to be big right now. Nala, she's looking everything up. Uh, this is a brand I looked up as well because I didn't recognize it. Sweet Claire. Sweet Claire. Sweet Caroline. Anyway, super um, soft. Has a little bell sleeves, a little lace up top. Um, so hopefully somebody will want that. This I looked up because, again, when I see tags, like... The size tag, the name, the name of the brand. When I see tags that are like decent quality, I'm like the the garment has to be. It, it they just look different. So tags from someone like an Amazon, like a 
something from Wish. I don't look like this. So I suspected something was going on with this. And in fact, it was this Modern Citizen um, is a decent brand. So this is just a little, again, cardigan, open front cardigan, gray, very soft. Um, this is a soft and sexy tee. Love these things. Um, just a blue, little high-low hem, a little curved hem. This should yield some decent cash. This is called Joie. So if you've ever seen this brand, uh, let's see if I get it. There we go. Joie. J-O-I-E. Er, this is a soft by that brand. Um, it is a pricey, pricey brand. So this is just a an open front hooded cardigan. I got oatmeal color with pockets. Very cool. So hoping to get decent money for that. This is a, a Lulero. This is a Julia dress. I know that because I like the Julia style, but this is a an extra small, which is too small for me. It's like an apricot peachy color. Very cool. Should be decent. This is a little, oh gosh, I can't sit on the floor anymore, I'm old. Um, Calvin Klein top, a little career top with bell sleeves, but the, I thought the, the palm print was nice. Um, there's not a size, of course, every other tag is in there except for the size tag. I suspect though it's about an extra large, large, extra large, so I'll just put up um, measurements for that. Lularo, this is a 2X. I think this is called the Classic Tee. Again, just like a, a tan color. Uh, this is Max Studio Weekend. Uh, it's just a little soft um, kind of t-shirt dress, but it's like a, it's like sweatshirt material so it's super comfy um just has a little button detail but it has a tab yes it sure does let me let me tab that up and see whether it changes the look of it a little bit there we go i know if there's like a lone button somewhere there's gotta be something that goes with it i was like i don't think this is really the there you go that's better. Oh, there's the button. Okay, so it's a cute little uh, sweatshirt dress. Pockets, again, pockets are key. This, I just, I noticed. So this, this happens every now and then. Um, that the belt that came along with this here thing is a little super beat up. Uh, so I'm just going to remove it. Maybe I can find one that will work with it, like one that I already have. But anyway, this is a Tahari, um, I can't read backwards, Arthur S. Levine. Um, and this is the kind of like more expensive um, brand of the Tahari. And so that's like a seer sucker shirt dress. This is a Skyzer blue flannel. Um, extra small. I thought it was cute. It has like a different pattern on the inside and outside. It has a little embroidery detail across the button. So hopefully that'll do well. This is another item that I kind of gambled on because I looked at the condition of it. Uh, this is a Roxy, like a swim 